Pauwi ka na ba ng Pilipinas? Sagutin natin ang iyong mga katanungan, aking mga kabayan. Watch this video and find out. Hi mga travelers, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Iris Talk TV kung saan sasagutin po natin ang iyong katanungan, aking mga kabayan. Inibitahan ko po kayo na mag-subscribe na sa ating channel. Click nyo po yung subscribe button at notification bell for our first question. From trending video, sabi niya ma'am, paano pag wala sa list yung airline name. Hi! Trending videos. So, great question yan. It happens. There are times maybe yung mga fl bagong flights na yon hindi naka-register initially sa e-travel. So, this is what you have to do. Please access nyo yung e-travel at kapag nasa step na kayo wherein you have to complete your travel details, makikita ninyo after traveler type Diba, pipiliin mo aircraft passenger and then pag name of airline, wala naman kasi silang option na others. So, please click the small square box na nakalagay special flight, nakatanong doon in question mark. Please put or place a check mark and then you will see a small box na nakalagay below specify special flight number so pakilagay na lang yung flight details ng flight mo na wala doon sa list ng name of airlines ng e-travel so reminder din lang there are times kasi like for example for PAL magkakadikit yung kanyang uh, PR PR number and then yung pinaka number ng airline. So, minsan akala nyo, depende sa pagka-type nyo yun, pag tinype nyo silang separate, hindi ilalabas. So, what I suggest, whatever yung inyong uh, PR or yung inyong airline number, so, itype nyo muna yung first letter and then second letter, lalabas naman dyan yan kung meron. And then, isa-isahin ninyo. Kung wala talaga, then use the special flight. Ayan. Make sure na kompleto at uh, tama ang information. And after that, just choose the airport of arrival kasi hindi mag-automatic comple completion yan. Unlike kung nakalista yung name of airlines ninyo, then meron siyang Airport of Arrival Automatic Entry. So, this time, you have to manually choose it. Ayan, kung Terminal 1 ba yan, Terminal 3 ba yan ang naiya, or any other international airport in different parts of the Philippines. So, looking forward that this video had helped you. God bless! From our subscribers na si Hey Chris TV, sabi niya, ma'am, paano pag uwi ng Pilipinas tapos walang phone number sa Pilipinas? Ano po bang pwedeng gamitin kasi di nagpo-proceed? And then from just having fun, paano ilalagay yung mobile number? International nga kami at magbabakasyon lang. Wala kaming mobile number na pang Pilipinas. Paano yon? And then from Thata, Kyoko, Sabi niya, Madam, ask ko lang po paano pag walang number, Philippines. Okay lang po ba yung HK number? Okay, sagutin natin ang inyong mga katanungan regarding mobile number. Hey Chris TV, for your question, kung sakasakali pag uwi mo ng Pinas, wala kang phone number sa Pinas, okay lang. Uh, pareho kayo ni Just Having Fun. So si Just Having Fun, Kung ang inyong mobile phone ay from overseas, whether it's from the US, from the UAE, or from other countries, you can just simply choose doon sa pinaka left side where inakikita niyo yung flag, right? So makikita niyo yung pili inyo yung area code ng country where you are actually uh, kung magasaan kay meron telepono, pwedeng UAE, pwedeng US, and once na na pili niyo na yon, madalina input niyo na yung inyong foreign mobile number para you can proceed for the registration. From Fata Kyoko, same thing Fata, just like what I've said to Hey Chris TV and just having fun, you can also input your HK number. Ganito lang. Merong ilang subscribers tayo from HK na nagsasabi na there are few numbers, na merong ilang numbers daw na kapag in-enter nila, hindi nagpo-proceed. 
uh, sa e-travel. Uh, only few naman na nag-mention doon. Pero try mo muna ha. Baka naman kasi mag-okay yung HK number mo. So, piliin mo area code ng Hong Kong and then enter mo yung number. If in case, like what happened to them, hindi nag uh, kumbaga hindi inaccept yung phone number mo then ang maiisasuggest ko you can ask any of your immediate families phone number or mobile number at sasabihin mo sa kanila maari ba na ito muna yung gamitin kong mobile number uh, for my e-travel and in case of any messages from e-travel for you na itinex sa kanila then paki-inform ka lang. Pwede naman yon. If uh, just in case, hindi mag-work yung HK number mo. For, but for other countries, wala naman po tayong nakikita or nababalita ang nagkaka-challenge kapag in-enter nyo po yung inyong foreign number for your mobile phone. So with that, hey Chris TV, just having fun and Tata Kyoko, looking forward na nakatulong ang information natin for all of you. And from Joy Magpantay, sabi niya, Good morning, ma'am. Paano po kung di na ilagay ang surname ng passenger? Pwede pa rin po bang mag-register or at least update the e-travel pass? Thank you po in advance sa reply. Hi, Joy. Kamusta na? Yes, pwede naman. Basta you have your QR code number. So, ganito. Punta ka lamang doon sa e-travel website, official website. And then, makikita mo doon at the bottom of continue. So, makikita mo update existing records. Since you already registered, nakakuha ka na ng QR code, click mo yung update existing record. And once you click it, you will be prompted to go to the next page, which is you have to enter your reference number. Ito yung makikita mo dun sa QR code. So, nakita mo itong QR code na ito. Uh, yung mahabang alphanumeric na digits. So, merong dyan yung F, Q, 1, and the rest. Yung mahabang details na yun, yun yung reference number mo or QR code number. Type it sa reference number and then enter your date of birth, then click continue. So, after that, you simply have to edit your information. It, you will be asked to proceed to step number one since last name yung challenge mo. So, step number one, update mo na siya. Once you're done, click save and continue or click continue. And then until you reach the end, step six and summary. So, if all are good, check it. Then, click submit and make sure that you generate and screenshot again your QR code for the updated details. And that's it. Ready ka na to fly to the Philippines. So, God bless you, Joy, and looking forward na nakatulong ang video natin. From Rose Villaferte, sabi naman niya, Hi, ma'am. Meron lang po akong itatanong. Paano po kung yung ticket ko at pilido ng asawa ko tapos ang pasaporte ko ay yung pagkadalaga ko? Magkakaroon po kaya ako ng problema? Sa e-travel po kasi kung susunod ako sa passport name ko tapos ang ticket lang pa? Ayan, or ang ticket ay iba. Ayan. Hi Rose, kamusta na? So ganito ang gagawin natin. Sa e-travel, kapag nagkompleto ka, kung ano yung valid passport mo to enter the Philippines, yun ang kinakailangan na information that you will enter e-travel. Now let's talk about your ticket. Kasi syempre, once you travel sa airport pa lang, titingnan nila yung pangalan sa itinerary at sa pasaporte mo. Ngayon, kung magkaiba ito, make sure that you have a supporting document like marriage certificate. Certificate. Bakit ba nag-iba na yung iyong apelido? Dapat may supporting document ka to prove why. So, kung may marriage certificate ka, please bring a copy so that at least you can prove to them. You can also show them your, uh, let us just say, yung ibang IDs mo. Halimbawa na nag-change na yung apelido mo kasi nga naging married ka na. So, show them a valid ID na nag-change na yung iyong, uh, kumbaga, apelido so that at least hindi ka magka-challenge sa airport. So, please make sure your documentation to prove your uh, kumbaga, identification must be complete so that uh, less challenges or no challenges at all. God bless you, Rose! 
From Leticia, Balasilio, sabi niya, Ma'am, kapag walang e-travel, ano pong mangyayari sa akin sa airport? Hi, Leticia, kamusta ka na? So, what uh, airport ba are you flying from? Ganito, for e-travel naman, uh, ginawa na siya since early this year, 2023, na hindi mandatory uh, for you to actually board from your point of origin ang e-travel. So, halimbawa, maglilipad ka from the UAE, papaliparin ka pa rin nila kung wala kang e-travel kasi inaallow na pwede itong ikumpleto sa airport sa Pilipinas. Pero pagdating mo sa Pilipinas, hindi ka pwedeng hindi magkukumpleto ng e-travel. Hindi ka nila papapasukin sa immigration area at hindi ka makakalabas ng airport ng walang e-travel because it's a mandatory requirement. So yun, yun ang uh, mangyayari. Kapag sakasakali na wala kang e-travel, na nag-travel ka, lumipad ka, napalipad ka from your point of origin, pero pagdating mo ng Pilipinas, saan mang international airport ito, sasabihin pa rin sa'yo, magkumpleto ka ng e-travel. So yun, uh, so you, you have to ensure that you know you log into the internet, complete the e-travel there. So it may take some time. So my advice, kahit merong ganong provision na sinasabi nila na pwede kang mag-complete ng e-travel sa mismong airport before immigration, sa bahay mo na lang ito kompletuhin, Leticia, kasi less hassle ka para mabilis mo ding makasama ang mga mahal mo sa buhay from the airport in the Philippines. Kasi alam mo naman, pagdating natin sa Pilipinas, galing overseas, medyo challenge ang internet dahil ang daming gumagamit sa airport. Unless may data ka din ng local SIM uh, number dito sa Pilipinas, then wala kang problema sa internet. Pero kung wala, makikishare ka ng internet with the rest of the thousands of Pinoy's and foreign nationals who arrived in the airport. So, my suggestion, complete the e-travel before you even fly. Okay, sa bahay pa lang, kompletuhin mo na. It will only take you uh, minimum 10 uh, to 15 minutes basta mabilis ang internet mo. And you can watch my e-travel video guide para mabilis mo itong makompleto. God bless, Leticia. From Loreto, Selfer, sabi niya, Hi ma'am, pwede po bang magtanong bukod sa e-travel? Halimbawa, kababalik ko lang dito sa Saudi, galing bakasyon nitong July 12, 2023. Eh, wala na po kaming trabaho dito ma'am sa company namin. Tanong ko po, yung dalawang taon na kontrata po pa namin, hindi namin natapos. Ito po ba ibabayaran sa amin ng company namin, ma'am? Hi Loreto, kamusta na? I understand your situation and I'm really sorry to hear that na pagkagaling mo ng bakasyon, sabi mo sa company ninyo, uh, hindi na natapos ang inyong kontrata. Now, kung babayaran nila sa inyo o hindi, depende yan. Ano ba yung naging reason? Bakit hindi natapos ang kontrata? So, you can ask your HR personnel about this and uh, kung sakasakali na alam mo yun, hindi clear pa din sa inyo kung ano yung sagot but hoping that the HR people will can explain to you ano ba yung nasa kontrata, ano yung reason why hindi na kompleto and what will be your entitlements na makukuha ninyo kung bibigyan ba nila kayo ng uh, kumbaga compensation for the months na hindi na kompleto kasi depende yan eh depende sa naging situation ano ba yung reason bakit hindi na naipakompleto sa inyo yung kontrata so the best people to answer this will be HR now just in case you don't find satisfactory yung sinabi ng HR you can always double check sa agency na nagpadala sa inyo ano ba talaga yung pinyarmahan in situations such as this, ano ba yung rightfully for all of you? So that you can get the information at makuha mo yung ganang benefits or any compensation na dapat para sa'yo o sa inyo. God bless Loreto and... And of course, maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga viewers from Edith Posadas, 
or posads. Sabi niya, thank you so much po ma'am for the prompt update. Miss Jamie, more blessing and many more subscribers ahead. Naku, Edith, thank you so much and claiming na marami pa tayong matulungan nating mga subscribers. From Pinky January, sabi niya, hi ma'am Jamie, salamat po sa pagsagot sa aking katanungan. God bless you always. You are most welcome, Pinky. And thank you also for watching. From Maria Irene Garcia, sabi niya, salamat po. Napaka loud and clear. Hi Irene, you are most welcome at maraming salamat sa positive feedback. So muli mga kabayan, if you find this video helpful and informative, please click like. And I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. Follow niyo na rin po ako sa FB page ninyo at TikTok account para lagi kayong updated anumang social media ang gamit ninyo. Muli, ako si Jamie Iris, ang inyong Talk TV show host na nagsasabi saan man pong dako ng mundo, taas noo tayo'y mga Filipino. Maraming salamat po and I'll see you in my next video. God bless everyone and have a pleasant flight!